Hey, what's up? It's Chris from ChrisBeatCancer.com, and I got to tell you, there's a crazy study that came out this week, a major study linking autism to antidepressant use during pregnancy. So here's the deal. This study came out of the University of Montreal. They followed 145,000 some odd pregnancies and ch children uh, for 11 years. And what they found was that women who took antidepressants, any type, during the second and third trimester of their pregnancy had an 87% increased risk of having a baby, that a child that would eventually be diagnosed with autism. But it gets worse. For the women that took SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, like Zoloft and Paxil, their risk was 200%. So their risk of having a baby or having a child that would eventually be diagnosed with autism is double of the normal risk, okay? And if, you, if you've been looking around and paying attention to what's going on in the world, the rates of autism are just going up and up and up. I mean, I remember just a few years ago, I wanna say it was, you know, between five and 10 years ago, the rate of autism was one in 100, which I thought was pretty scary. Now it's one in 68. So, I mean, pretty soon it's gonna be like every other kid. And we have to think rationally and logically about our world our environment, what we're putting in our body, toxic chemicals we're exposed to, our diet and lifestyle, and of course, prescription medication. Like something is causing the increased rates of autism, right? We live in a cause and effect world. There are causes. Now, some of you think it's vaccines. There's certainly a contingent of people that think vaccines are, are a cause of autism, and that's fine. I don't want to get into the vaccine debate on this video, but what we have here is we have a study, major study, linking antidepressant use to autism. And I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction that the authors of this study are going to come under massive attack. There will be a huge attack from the pharmaceutical industry lobbied at the authors of this study, and I'm already feeling sorry for them because I think they're probably, there's going to be a giant smear campaign to ruin their reputations and you know they may never get research work again uh, because that's how powerful the pharmaceutical um, empire, right? The pharmaceutical conglomerate world is. Uh, if you publish a study that threatens their business, they will come after you. So anyway, but you need to know about this. Um, most pharmaceutical drugs are bad for you. They're dangerous. They will cause harm in your body. In the short term, they could be helpful, but if you take any pharmaceutical drug, or I'm gonna say, I don't wanna say any, but let me just say most pharmaceutical drugs for a duration, an extended duration, extended period of time, they're gonna cause problems in your body. They're gonna cause liver problems, digestive problems. Some of them cause cancers. I mean, listen to the drug commercials. The drug companies are telling us in their commercials what their drugs are the problems their drugs cause in our bodies. Listen to, the, to all the side effects. It's ridiculous. People are taking drugs for restless leg syndrome and risking you know, leukemia or heart failure or intestinal bleeding. So, you know, or they're, they're taking, I don't, even, I don't even wanna get started. That could be a whole other video. Most of you know this already. I'm preaching to the choir, I'm sure. Uh, most people that watch my channel are pretty informed and in, in tune with um, how dangerous and deadly pharmaceutical drugs are. but. Anyway, this is just one more study showing the risk. So again, to summarize, women that are taking any type of antidepressant in their second and third trimester of pregnancy have an 87% increased risk of having a child who will eventually be diagnosed with autism. And women taking SSRIs like Paxil and Zoloft have a 200% increased risk. So the risk is double. Okay, so please like and share this video. I hope we can really spread this and get it out there because every single woman needs to know about this study. Thanks so much for liking and sharing. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my email newsletter. It's free. And uh, check out my website. It's chrisbeatcancer.com. Tons of cancer healing testimonials and awesome info about nutrition, cancer prevention, and how to live a healthy life. See ya.